What's it like working hand in hand with Elon Musk? Is he an intelligent boss? Or is he just another vocal CEO who rides on the coattails of other people's hard work? Well, I'm sure these are some of the questions you've asked yourself more than once, right? I mean, think about it. It must be something working for the wealthiest man alive. Of course, Elon Musk is not one to shy away from the limelight. And as such, he's found himself involved in his fair share of controversies. But we're here to answer one of the most puzzling questions of our time. Is Elon Musk really an engineering genius or just some lucky schmuck who got rich during the dot-com boom? So a few weeks ago, Musk found himself at the center of allegations of harassment and misconduct. The allegations were that Elon Musk had apparently exposed himself to a flight attendant in 2016 and offered to buy her a horse if she gave him an erotic massage. It's reported that SpaceX silently settled the matter by paying the attendant $250,000, although no official confirmation was made. But much to the surprise of the public, it was actually one of the female employees that came out to defend him. In a comprehensive email to SpaceX employees, SpaceX Chief Operating Officer and President Gwen Shotwell expressed that the recent allegations pegged against Elon Musk were nowhere near any of Musk's virtuous characters. In the email, Shotwell wrote, Personally, I believe the allegations to be false, not because I work for Elon, but because I've worked closely with him for 20 years and never seen nor heard anything resembling these allegations. Musk further denied the accusations, claiming that they were politically inspired. He even went on Twitter to express his displeasure. The attacks against me should be viewed through a political lens. This is their standard despicable playbook. But nothing will deter me from fighting for a good future and your right to free speech. According to Musk, these allegations are being brought forth to tarnish Musk's bid to buy Twitter. Nevertheless, it means a lot for Musk that one of his chief female employees had come out to defend him. Which then brings us back to our question. Is Elon Musk an intelligent boss? You see, Shotwell isn't the only employee that's had something positive to say about Musk's intelligence and virtue. Tom Muller, a former engineer at SpaceX and one of the company's founding employees also shared his pleasant memories of working under the SpaceX boss. Muller served as the VP of Propulsion Engineering from 2002 to 2014, and then later as Propulsion CTO from 2014 to 2019. While he currently serves as a senior advisor, he talks about the amazing level of dedication that Musk had to the company. Musk would always lead the propulsion department in developing SpaceX engines, especially the Raptor. And despite several first-time failures, Muller noted how Musk would always push the team to solve a problem. He recalls a time when the third chamber of a Raptor engine had cracked, and Musk quickly transported the hardware all the way back to California. With his sleek Italian shoes still on, he rolled up his sleeves and started working on it. And when all was said and done, Muller was impressed by how Musk was unafraid to get his hands dirty. Yes, Musk is as much a model boss as he is a model employee. Even Kevin Watson, another engineer who developed the avionics for Falcon 9 and Dragon, also had a very upbeat opinion about working under Musk. The one thing that really stood out for Watson about Musk was how brilliant he was. Musk was always a hands-on person who was involved in just about everything. He always seemed to have a sense of clarity about his work and loved to hold people accountable for what they were doing. What he loved the most was deciphering the fundamental laws of physics and rockets. Watson recalls how Musk would get into heated discussions about flying a satellite and whether it was possible to solve all the equations of orbit in real time. It was simply impressive the amount of knowledge that Musk had accumulated through the years. But Watson was not alone when it came to admiring Musk's intellectual capabilities. Garrett Reisman was a SpaceX engineer that worked in the Department of Astronaut Safety and Mission Assurance before later being promoted as the Director of Crew Operations, a position that he served in until 2018. Reisman recalls the first time that he was blown away by Elon Musk during his job interview. I first met Elon for my job interview. All he wanted to talk about were technical things. We talked a lot about different main propulsion system design architectures. At the end of my interview, I said, hey, are you sure you want to hire me? You've already got an astronaut, so so are you sure you need two around here? As Reisman recalls, Musk's answer was nothing short of brilliant. He looked at me and said, I'm not hiring you because you're an astronaut. I'm hiring you because you're a good engineer. Reisman went on to say this about Musk. He's obviously skilled at all those different functions, but certainly what really drives him and where his passion really is, is his role as CTO, or Chief Technology Officer. Basically, his role as Chief Designer and Chief Engineer. That's the part of the job that really plays to his strengths. Like Watson and Muller, Reisman was also starstruck by Musk's superior level 
level of intelligence. Yes, he's met a lot of smart people in his lifetime, but they're usually super smart on one thing. However, Musk seems to know anything and everything and will even have a conversation with you about the strangest technology while still presenting concrete facts to back his arguments up. That's why Reisman always felt motivated to follow Musk's leadership. But what about the former head of software quality assurance at SpaceX, Josh Bohm? What does he have to say about working under Elon Musk? Well, Bohm recalls that Musk was so dedicated to the job that he served as both the chief technology officer and chief executive officer at SpaceX. This means that he was involved in the nitty gritties of designing and engineering the rocket. But what stood out the most for Josh was how much Elon was an engineer at heart. He always wanted to know how even the smallest wheel or disc functioned. Another employee, Brian Mosdell, found Musk to be somewhat strange and awkward, but very smart. During his time at SpaceX, Mosdell played an important role in the manufacture of SpaceX's launch pads. He recalls one day showing up for a talk about his experience building launch pads, but instead, Musk steered the discussion into the subject of rockets. By the end of the interview, Mosdell had talked very little about launch pads, but had gone into detail about pump shaft seal designs, helium use, and RS-68 engines. When all was said and done, Mosdell and other engineers that had been invited for a tour of the SpaceX facility truly felt like seven-year-olds visiting the chocolate factory. Now, aside from the employees that currently work or have worked at SpaceX, what do some of Musk's biggest critics think about his style of work? While writing his critically acclaimed book, Space Barons, here's what Christian Davenport, the Washington Post's defense and space reporter, had to say about Elon Musk's intellectual capabilities. To conduct a thorough interview, Davenport assigned one of his lieutenants, Liam Sarsfield, to go to California to see how SpaceX was faring in the early 2000s. At the time, Sarsfield was a high-ranking NASA official in the office of the chief engineer, and he was assigned the objective to determine whether this company was real or just another failure in the making. When he got there, Sarsfield was impressed by how fluent Musk was in rocket engineering and how he understood the science of propulsion and engine design. Throughout the entire interview, Musk demonstrated a high level of intensity, focus, and determination. Sarsfield could remember thinking, this was not the kind of guy who was going to accept failure. As the day progressed, Musk showed Sarsfield mock-ups of the Falcon 1 and Falcon 5, the different engine designs, as well as a full plan to construct a spacecraft capable of flying humans to other celestial bodies. Musk also asked Sarsfield a flurry of questions, especially ones concerning the state of NASA. Musk wanted to know how a company like SpaceX would be seen by NASA. He also bombarded Sarsfield with a ton of technical queries, including factors that dealt with base heating and the rocket engine's compartment, something that had been troubling SpaceX during the company's early years. Now that he had a close associate inside NASA, the questions did not stop. In fact, Musk would blow up Sarsfield's inbox with all manner of emails and texts about engines and rockets. He sends texts in a constant flow. I found him to be consumed by whatever was in front of him and anxious to solve problems. This, combined with a tendency to work 18 hours a day, is a sign of someone driven to succeed. Musk was particularly focused on learning how the docking adapter at the International Space Station worked. This was the port that would dock the spacecraft carrying NASA's astronauts. He wanted to know everything from the dimensions of the port, the design of the locking pin, and even the bolt pattern of the hatch. Musk asked Sarsfield a lot of questions. I really enjoyed the way he would pore over problems anxious to absorb every detail. To my mind, someone that clearly committed deserves all the support and help you can give him. John Carmack, a programmer, engineer, and founder of Armadillo Aerospace and CTO of Oculus VR, is another critic who has had some very positive sentiments about Elon Musk's leadership and work ethic. Elon is definitely an engineer. He's deeply involved with technical decisions at SpaceX and Tesla. He doesn't write code or do CAD today, but he is perfectly capable of doing so. And lastly, we have Robert Zubrin, an aerospace engineer and author best known for his advocacy for human exploration of Mars. Here's what he had to say about Elon Musk. When I met Elon, it was apparent to me that although he had a scientific mind and he understood scientific principles, he did not know anything about rockets. Nothing. That was in 2001. By 2007, he knew everything about rockets. He really knew everything in detail. You have to put some serious study in to know as much about rockets as he knows now. This doesn't come just from hanging out with people. So far, it looks like Elon Musk has left a long list of positive reviews from both his former employees and critics about his level of intelligence. If you know someone who has worked for any of Elon Musk's companies, let us know what their experience was like in the comments section down below. Well, that's all for now. Until next time, welcome to the future.